Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. In our last class, we have shown the relationship. So how to uh, how to make the relationship between brand and products? How to make the relationship between category and products? We made the relationship in our last class. The relationship is must when you are making this system, right? We have to learn the relationship how to make the relationship in between products and brand and category right let's continue the video right so here what you're going to do is our model part is finished now we are moving to a con product controller part we already done it here so far we have to create the uh, variable products here we have uh, models we have to call the models so models we have to what's the models we have to put this variable now what you're going to do is in order to do the things we have a in in products controller uh, when you the form when you select here you can see here we have a product name category id brand id and prices they are so instead of display the category id while you adding the product we have to display the category name the same thing when you add the brand name instead of that we have to sorry when you add the brand instead of displaying the brand id we want to display the brand name so what you are going to do is we have to merge the table and bring the ids so that we have to make the relationship so in order we already we have we have made the relationship and everything so we easily we have to get this this things right instead of display category id we have to display as a category name from the category table and we have to instead of display category brand id we have to display the brand name which is coming from the brand table right so how to achieve this so this is the function which is a index before that we have to call this models brand model Another one is a category model, right? Okay, so we have to in order to make the relationship. These three tables relationship, three tables models we have to call it, right? So because we have to merge these three tables, okay, all together: product table, brand table, and category table, right? So that we have to call that respective models as well. Here, the model spark then only we can get it right now here when the page is displayed the form will be displayed along with the category name as well as a brand name okay we have to display so in order to achieve the task right so what i did here is don't worry i will be explain it right this is simple code. This code, what I explained to you, you have to get rid of this line. It is simple code. Here you can see here, there are four line codes. Okay. You have to understand the things well, right? So the first line what I explained to you here is we have to create the products variable because we are not creating here. We are already we are the uh this. so here we have to write this one instead of products and product here, right? This one's product, right? So here what I did here is you can see that we have to create the variable product. Okay, this is the model path it's a model reside on inside the app folder models and products so here we are we have to communicate with the database schema right so here what i did here is it's a model path we have to pass into this one so here what i did here is inside this index function get open and close bracket first you have to create the variable products equal this we have to get the product details via the product model and we have to assign this variable you have to call it and we have to, there is a uh, level or a orm okay we have a all we all mean okay what is the meaning of all mean we have to get all the data from the database via the model okay so we have to get the all the database so it's, it will be goes here it is passing to here this one passing to this model your this schema via we have to get the data via using the relationship 
okay these are the relationship right it, it will be communicated with these three tables so we are not to we have to make the relationship here right so it will be getting the data it will be fill the data and bring back to my index page right so that's how we have get it here in order to do the things all the data we have to make the relationship here so how the relationship we have categories variables we have created the category variables here we have write the category model we have called the category model category here write plug the plug what is the meaning of plug using is in order to we have to join the tables join the tables mean here you here you can see here category table here it's called category it's category plug cat name id mean if you go to the just go to the category table you can see here category this id is a primary key it's a category name right okay so same thing you have to do it here category table we have to plug instead of displaying the id cat uh, category id id we have to display the category name okay instead of displaying the id cat name so that's the things we have to write the flux function flux what's the meaning of the flux function instead of displaying the cat id we need to display the cat name okay if you want to display the status you have to write the status here okay what are the things you can put it here this you have to flux it you have to flux flux that's the keyword flux okay right the same thing brand you have to go to the brand also instead of displaying the brand id we have to display the brand name so we have tried we have to call the brand model we have to plug brand name so brand here if you go to the brand table you can look at the table id brand name okay instead of displaying the id we have displaying the brand name here we have write it here okay you can see here the product table brand id so, so that's a, instead of create this brand id we have display the brand name the same thing here also we have to make the relationship instead of display this id okay we have display the this one category that's how we have made the relationship function right after that all things we have to return to which page products page index so products folder index okay so we haven't created the view so we have created the two folder brand table and categories table now i'm going to create the another table sorry folder which is a we have tried the this one we have tried a product folder Okay, not not we don't need to create the products create a product folder so we have got product product folder we have to make the page which is an index page so what i did here is there's a product folder i want to make the for page is an index dot blade dot php right here what i did here is what i'm going to do is back it here going to copy this paste over here right right so here this is the product page right. product page so you have tried the same thing in a category section page index page the same thing i'm going to modify it product section so the layout and all things are same this is the editing product editing so we are this is the form okay this, this all things here this is the form this form consists of the field so you have to explain the explain the form you can see the form you can see the form it's a div so start form method post action okay you have to explain this one the chrf so it consists of the field product name after the category not a category name but a category as brand so you can see here as you have noticed that label select name here we have to put it a drop down here okay we have to draw the drop down list instead of the input box here we have to make the drop down list drop down list mean we have to select the ids right so select the id so category id cat id but this is similar to this the same id you have to write it here this is this name okay the foreign key okay right so you can say that you have to write the for each loop to loop the data so how many category ids available you will be able to get it here right category ids category made right so here for each loop categories this categories as id right categories as id right so this one we are getting from where 
this category name which is getting from your this one okay so we have, what is the name you are writing here this very okay you have to write this instead of uh, instead of displaying the category id you have to category name so this this one we have to go to the view page so which page this variable as id it will be displayed as a name so that we have to write it the category id as id you have to add a name you have to write like this okay so here option pan you have to write this like this value id when we add the record that id will be added display record what happened the name should be displayed this is simple code you have to write because if you are right here category it not works because the same name which name here the variable you write this variable because your flag can we have put into this way this variable we have to merge the tables column the instead of displaying the id we have to make it as a category name so this variable you are passing the same thing as a brand as well you can see here so it's a brand so brands okay you can see the brands so brands instead of displaying the brand id we have to display the brand name okay we have to display over here right so here why when you add the record the id should be added into the database when you view the records the name should be viewed right so after that we have a column called fries but these are the fields are available we no need to describe more things this is simple stuff you have to do it so very simple right very simple stuff you have to do it right so what is this is simple stuff so let's let's file save all right now i haven't run the application yet so let me run the application php artisan serve or the command serve now now you can see here whether it's working or not so i have forgot one thing it's a route part so where's the routing it's running server is running so we have to handle with the route part so we have the routes web.php here also we have to handle the routes part as well so routing which will be which is nothing but the url management system so when the url is coming like this the products routes resources slash products cause a product controller you have to implement the path where your product controller is resided so you have to implement the path where, where your product controller is resided this reside on the http folder this is the which reside on the http folder inside the http folder there is a sorry which will be reside on the app folder inside the app folder there is a folder called http inside the http folder there is a folder called controller inside the controller folder we have a controller.php page this is the controller resided okay we have to give the path correctly right if the url coming slash products what happen is when you click the link the link management system you have to done with is a layout.blade.php so here we are you have to implement the url so inside the double quotation mark okay inside the double quotation mark you have to specify this link so just copy this and paste on here in between the uh, two double quotation right here we have to what the things your product it's a product right? product okay there this is very masked here if you are like if you are right products is not work because here your slash products when you click this link it will be refer to this url it will be refer this url this url it will be communicate with the product controller this product controller this product controller what happen is it goes to the this product controller this product controller here it will be the index method okay if you if you if you we no need to call the index function or create function it automatically take care of it which function would be called for first load the page it, it automatically take care of the resource control that is the beauty of laravel made it okay so we no need to handle with the do or post or put or patch that method you can handle if you want to write it but if it is a resource control it will manage it themselves right so 
do you don't worry about that one okay so here it's all the stuff are right so now let's call, save all again now i'm going to click on this here follow the links so okay you can see here right so now what is is a category page it's a brand page product page uh, product page not found what is the problem product is not found something error with the url i think uh product index page not found me uh here the page the you can see the first the route is correct so here the uh, the product if there any problem with the spelling all things are correct so you check with this one and this this match with this uh, this this link this layer this all match what is the problem you encountered is you have to uh, the router cache you have to clear the router cache ph parts and router cache sometimes that that would be the problem that may be the problem now let's execute the program now again refresh them now let's click product now here it's working the problem is encountered is that here it's coming perfectly well here only one category we have a multiple brands are there so you can add the another category here they have only one category so they are here now i'm going to add another category it is a uh, category name i'm going to add it as a sharp set a score click add it right now i go to the product table here we have two categories the two brands is working successfully uh the product satisfied we have a continuing my next video tutorial thank you for watching